In the world of card tricks, you need to have little pizzazzes that go on. One of the most famous is just a simple hand wave, or maybe one with a bit of a ripple in your fingers. But some of the easiest ones are ones that actually involve you doing something with the cards. I call these filler tricks. Now, a filler trick can be something as simple as fanning out the cards, or it could be something a little bit more complicated that I haven't quite mastered, but rounding off the cards, which is where you take it in more of an arc, more like a magician, and present your abilities as a magician to do so. Um, another great trick is after you've learned how to round off the cards, you can do the flip side. Uh, it didn't work very well. But the flip side is where all the cards go go over to the other side. Now, let's see if I can do a proper round off here. Notice I use the term round off. They also have that in the witch call. There you go. All right. You do it the other way. You do it back the other way. And like other, and so you finally have a full deck. So, in the next few videos... I will be showing you several of the little pizzazzes that magicians can use, such as flipping the cards loudly. And the trick to this is, I mean, it's, it's, it's the simplest thing. You just pull it back so the audience can see a lot of the card, but at the same time, not bend it. And then one of the tricks I haven't quite mastered is you can take out the spin two cards, and if the trick calls for two cards, you can... Uh, more or less, do it in a swift motion like so. Well, I didn't do it right. All right, you swift motion like that. Um, if it's a card choice, the round off works the best though. So I will teach you how to do these in the next videos, and they may seem simple, but they do require a certain amount of skill and practice in order to do them right. All right. So until next time.